Tun started pigeon racing with his father in 1976, which is when the moniker Vertelman and Sons was chosen. They had canaries before, but the door to the aviary was left open, and the birds vanished. Then they began with racing pigeons, as if the door is left open, at least they will return. Tun continued to race by himself from the Streakweg in Hootkarspel after Ko and Tun sold all of their pigeons in 2003, with the exception of the young birds and yearlings. Tun preserved his moniker as people were familiar with him by that name. Tun soon realized that he was missing his breeders and that he would never be able to race at the same level as before. Tun borrowed or received some of his own pigeons from the 2002 and 2003 collection, and paired some of them. Tun participated in the ZLU races with Morning Liberation, Barcelona was his favorite event. His yearlings are required to race in Tarbes and Perpignan, while the two-year-olds must always run at Bergerac. Because Tun feels that the two-year-olds are too young and that the distance is too great, they are not entered for Barcelona. For Barcelona, 1,280 km and Perpignan, 1,123 km, all three-year-old pigeons are registered. Tun always feeds the pigeons. Tun and his family only get to feed and tend to the pigeons when Father Ko is on vacation. As the finger on the pulse, Ko keeps a close eye on everything that goes on in or near the loft. He is in the same position as Tun was when they shared a pigeon pen. Ko used to say, Tun, the loft stinks. A lot and they searched for the reason together. The lofts now smell fresh since they invited Robert Kasparin to check them out and took his suggestions. As with professional chicken coops, the loft roofs now feature crests. The racing loft is 12 meters long, and an 8 meter long, youngster's loft is located next to it. The youngster's loft includes an upper window with a 2 meter long gauze tunnel that leads outside and rests on a pole. This 2 by 0.5 by 0.5 meter run is primarily used to help the youngsters get acquainted with the surroundings. When the youngsters are liberated for the first time, they know where they reside since they can see the roof. Tun's home pigeon count was only a couple down. He can see the loft from his living room because the loft's front faces west. The 85 NL106 4393 is without a doubt the great stock father in Ko and Tun's loft. The cock was purchased from Jan Dilen in Buggenham as an egg. In the autumn of 1986 this cock sat on the floor brooding and when they saw that he wanted youngsters they decide to ring them, they put as much effort into training the pigeons throughout the winter. The Road 50 was only entered in the subsequent races as a yearling. He was raced in the same manner as the yearlings when he was two years old. Against 14,361 pigeons nationwide, St. Vincent's entry in the 1988, the Road 50 left his visiting card with an 8th place finish. Pigeon U, placed 37th nationally in 1990 while competing against 19,804 pigeons from St. Vincent. Sadly, he and the other four extraordinary pigeons were taken in 1990. In turn, the Dick Rui, is an offspring of the Road 50. With direct pigeons from Leo Kutters and Vim Bax from Butel, Gibraltar, the loft of Vertelman and Son is further expanded. Kuipers, Nico Valkers from Bergen, and Cass van de Graaf from Arnhemuiden. All purchased pigeons need to be pedigree and come from fanciers that have excelled in this type of racing for many years. Because he believes these to be the most fair, Tun likes to compete in ZLU events that have morning losses. Without a doubt, Tun's top races to win are Perpignan and Barcelona.